In this video, we'll see how to carry out the one proportion Z test on the TI 83 and 84. The instructions for the two calculators are identical. We start with an example from Open Intro's Advanced High School Statistics. We have Deborah Tahui is running for Congress, and her campaign manager claimed that she has more than 50% support from the district's electorate. A newspaper poll finds that 52% of the 500 likely voters who are sampled support Tahui. Does this provide convincing evidence for the claim by Tahui's manager at the 5% significance level? So we know we want to calculate a one proportion Z test. We have our null hypothesis that her true proportion of support is 0.5, and the alternate hypothesis that her true proportion of support is greater than 0.5. When we check our conditions and we do the NP, always use the hypothesized value of P here, which is 0.5 not the sample proportion, which is 0.52. So here we use the 0.5 from our hypothesized proportion to check that it's greater than or equal to 10. And also assume you have a simple random sample. And then when you calculate the SE, also use the hypothesized proportion. Again, don't use the sample proportion down here. The number here should match the second number, not the first number. Now that we have our problem set up, we can use the calculator to find the z-statistic and the p-value. So we're going to want to go to stat tests and do one proportion z-test or one prop z-test. So whenever we're working with proportions, we go stat tests. We actually need the word prop in there, so we don't want to choose the regular z-test. We want to choose the one proportion z-test because we have proportions. So we get the one proportion z-test, and the first thing it asks for is p sub zero. So we have to know p sub zero is the hypothesized proportion. So we have to enter the hypothesized proportion, which here is 0.5. So we can enter 0.5 and enter. And then we also need x. x here is the number of yeses in the sample. So whereas p0 is a proportion, x is a number, and it's the number of actual yeses in the sample. So here I know that 52% of the 500 respondents said yes. So I can do that calculation in my head, or I can do it on the calculator here. So I need 52% or 0.52 times the 500. So this is 52% of the 500 is 260. So this is how many yeses were in the sample. This has to be an integer. So if a cu this calculation comes out not to be an integer, you have to round it to the nearest integer. Otherwise, you'll get an error. So we have P0 is the hypothesized proportion, X is the number of yeses in the sample as an integer, N is our sample size, which is 500. Use the down arrow and the over arrow to find our alternate hypothesis is greater than. So we hit enter here to highlight the greater than, which matches this greater than. Hit the down arrow again and hit enter for calculate. And we get our Z statistic of 0.89. So we can fill that in. And our P value of 0.186, let's say. 0.186. This is definitely greater than alpha. So we don't reject A sub O. And we have no evidence that her true support is greater than 50%. We have no evidence that her manager was correct. That's it for this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe below. Thanks for watching.